what's going on guys uh, leg day I got a couple things I want to change up um, the older the older I get and the more like I realize I'm kind of more prone to injury I want to work on I want to kind of focus my attention more and be more mindful of my warm-ups and kind of get a more effective warm-up for my lower body just because I got back pain I got um, shoulder pain uh, I got a pain in my neck right now I just um, I want to prevent injury as much as possible and I want to live for a long time I want to live for the rest of my life so I mean this isn't about just looking good like yeah everybody wants to look good I want to look good but I want to feel good I want my body to be pain-free and I'm gonna take you through a couple warm-ups that uh, I just looked on YouTube for a bunch of how to warm up for squats and I, I came across Kai Green's leg video hands down probably one of the best uh, warm-ups so he does the Stairmaster for 12 minutes then he does abs then he does stretching then he goes into calves and then he does his leg routine which is kind of ridiculous but I'm gonna do a shortened version of that and basically just um, try to get an effective warm up and an effective leg routine. So let's fucking get this shit. What is going on, guys? This is my leg day. Just starting um, here with uh, the incline treadmill. As you can see here, I put it all the way up to, I think it was 10 or 12 incline on 3 miles per hour. And I did that, I got my chucks on. I did that for about 12 minutes here. I got that little shot of how long I did it for. <laughs> I was listening to some old school uh, e Fowdy. Let me see if it, yeah, tell me when to go. Yeah, got the old school playlist on. Um, so I started off with these uh, planks. Um, I tried to hold it for 10 seconds and then do these oblique crunches. I, I saw on A-Train's um, Snapchat and Instagram, I, no, Instagram. And these actually kill your obliques, man. I've never done those before. But um, I did three sets of these uh, where I hold it for 10 seconds and then go back and forth and count to 10. And that is a killer core workout. I need to strengthen my core, so. Um, then I moved on to some just regular crunches and then straight into some crunches with a twist at the top. And this is all from uh, Kai Green's video. I watched his train train with uh, Kai train legs with Kai video with that Keegan Logan guy, and uh, I was just like looking for a better warm up for my leg day because I was having a lot of back issues. My core is not very strong, and I just wanted to like do something for the long term to protect my lower back. And I was like, I'm gonna do this Kai Green warm up, and it's pretty brutal. I mean, he does abs for like abs and stretching for like an hour before he even starts legs. And I don't know about you guys, but I just don't have the time or the patience or the energy to do that. Like, I mean, I go hard and stuff, but I don't want to be fucking warming up for an hour and a half. <laughs> I mean, I, it just doesn't like make sense to me. It makes sense to like be smart about lifting and stuff, but this took a lot out of me. I mean, this really took like a good 30, 45 minutes before I even touched the weight. So I don't think I'm going to do this again. And I say that later on in the video, but just a little foreshadowing. But um, I go through all the stretches he does and I can tell it does open your hips up and it does stretch your legs out. It does kind of like wake up your body again which wake up your body which i do think like it does have its purpose probably for kai green but i am not a professional bodybuilder i do not take steroids i am a natural skinny hard gainer 
and I've always had uh, trouble putting on mass and stuff like that. That's why I say I'm a hard gainer. I've been skinny all my life, but um, I, I do think these stretches have their place, just not not for right before working out. Um, but anyways, this is the lunge. I sat in these stretches for about a minute, minute and a half. Um, I need to do this one more, actually. This one felt really good. Uh, really opens up uh, your hips and um, gets your quad really good. And I, you, you do it on each side for about a minute and it just felt really good. Um, I'm not really used to stretching before a workout this long. It also takes a little bit out of you. So, I mean, I was feeling real good when I was going to the gym. And then right in the middle of this, I was just kind of like, Jesus, this is uh, taking a long time. Um, I'm not sure if this is a good idea. And come to find out, it wasn't really a good idea. But, you know, you live and you learn. I probably won't do this much stretching again. Although I probably did get a little bit more flex. Am I balding? Or is that just a fucking light spot? Okay, that's not cool. I have never seen... Alright, that is not cool. Oh my god. Anyways, I'm not flexible. I need to work on my flexibility because this hurt like a bitch. <laughs> and like, believe it or not, this is as far as I can lay, like, like, put my head down. Like, I'm really trying there. This is hurting. And, uh, my groin is tight. But gotta do what you gotta do gotta start somewhere i am a beginner and then i am still stretching man and this this video is sped up too i don't know like my editing software this is as fast as like the speed option goes i don't know what you guys are using but uh if you have any tips on how to speed up the videos like and i've seen those videos where they, they get really fast and quick and my editing software just doesn't have that option, I guess. I don't know. I have an Android. If anybody else has an Android out there, let me know some tips for editing videos because I don't like to do it on my computer for some reason. I just suck at it. I'm not, I'm not used to editing videos on my computer, I guess. Okay, so finally, getting into the workout after like a fucking hour of stretching. Um... I started off with these, just waiting for a barbell to open up uh, one of the racks. So I did eight sets of eight with this, really trying to control the weight and really uh, just focusing on the squeeze at the top. And right there, if you can see, I can kind of like do that little squeeze right there and then trying to stretch out at the bottom. And I did eight sets of eight, probably uh, 30 seconds rest in between sets. So. By this point, I'm feeling like really fucking weird. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm shaky. I'm like lightheaded. I'm like, did I eat enough? Do I need to not do squats? And I'm like, I'm like having this ba like internal battle with myself. I'm like, am I just gonna go home? Like, this is really like where my head's at right at this point. I'm like, I feel like shit. And I was kind of frustrated and I was like, you know what don't be a bitch don't back out just you know because this is supposed to be my heavy day i i switch between like the light days you know where i do my uh supersets and then this was supposed to be just my squat day with sumo deadlifts where i go i was gonna stick between one to two i mean two to three reps and go as heavy as i possibly could for those and i just wasn't feeling it after those all that stretches and 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 abs and shit and i was just like my body was kind of like just like fuck you i'm not working and i was like really fucking frustrated so i started off as you can see with the bar then i moved up to two um 25 pound plates and it just felt heavy like i just was like lethargic and I can't just like, I was just like kind of in, a, I got really fucking depressed during my workout. I was just like, the fuck is going on, man? I like, I don't know if you guys ever have those workouts where you know you're stronger, you know you can push your 
more weight and your body is just not having it like your body will not respond to your mind like in my mind i was just like okay my thought process is i'm fucking stronger than this i'm gonna attempt to do this even though i felt like i was gonna kind of fall over i felt like i was gonna pass out i was literally shaking i i just like i don't know what was going on with me like i had enough to eat i had a huge breakfast and it was about an hour and a half to two hours after it so i mean i know i had a, enough food enough calories in my system but that's just what was kind of going through my mind um you know if i could be real if i could be honest with you guys you know i didn't have the greatest day uh, i really wanted to go heavier than this um and i was excited when i went to the gym to go heavier than this but uh this is as heavy as i went man i went um let's see i went 155 for three reps and i i wasn't really counting sets um I was just kind of trying to do it as much as possible like and you know because people it was busy there as you can see like there's a lot of people around and all these motherfuckers are like coming up to me like hey man uh how many more sets do you have bro like uh can i work in with you dude like and i'm like bro i'm not counting sets i just work i do what my body tells me to do except i didn't say any of that i'm just like oh yeah yeah man you know uh i only have like uh two or three sets really I'm like not planning on getting off this motherfucker until I'm done. But these guys can work in with me if they want, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to hog the shit. But I'm trying to get a good work in. So I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just trying to fucking tell you where my head's at. I was not happy with this workout. I wanted to go a lot heavier. Didn't happen. So I moved I of course, I wanted to do sumo deadlifts, but at that time, no racks were open, no barbells were open, so I was just like, I'm going to go do leg press, um, which also frustrated me, because <laughs> I just like, I feel like I already have hip imbalances, and you know, I don't think that the leg press is a functional movement. Uh, and I, can, I do think it can lead to more imbalances than it can help. Uh, I just really enjoy sumo deadlifting. Um, and I, I love the, the feeling I get from lifting that type of weight. Like, just it's an entire body workout. I mean, it hits your, your posterior chain and shit. But uh, really just trying to finish off my legs here. This is the last exercise I did. So I just uh, pyramided up <clears throat> a plate for every set. And I think I stuck around eight reps until I got to four plates, four or five plates. Uh, really just trying to work on my strength and just trying to finish off my legs because I was just not feeling it. And I wanted to kind of get my strength in here if I didn't get it in on the squats, if that makes sense. Like... I wanted to get in the rep range of like four to eight reps, I guess. Uh, so I worked up to five plates, I think. This is four plates. I think I got like eight reps. I don't really remember, but uh, last set here, I moved up to five plates. And I believe I got like four reps. I'm not sure, man. But we'll see we'll see we'll count this right here it's the joys of uh editing i guess you can uh go back and play it so i got one right there and i was like oh shit this is heavy and i but keep in mind i'm fucking like shaking and i'm like trying to push myself through this workout as it is two come on man Come on. All right, there we go. Three. What? Oh, <laughs> what? All right, I just got home from the gym. Really unhappy with that workout. Um, I did try the whole uh, mobility thing, abs and stretching. It was uh, 12 minutes on the, doing cardio on the incline. 
then I did abs, and then I did stretching. And that honestly took a lot out of me, and I didn't realize how how much that was going to affect me. I don't recommend that for... I mean, I, I got it from Kai Green's leg video, Train With Kai. And I know he's on steroids and shit, and I know he was, like, training a natural bodybuilder or supposedly a natural, natural bodybuilder. But by the time I got to my first exercise, which was calves, I was, like, shaking. I was, like, irritable. I felt like I had already done, like, a complete workout. Like, I'm not... And my muscles felt like they weren't ready, like... All the stretching and shit felt like it was just they were to relax. Like, I just don't think stretching's for me before. Like, I, I feel like mobility and kind of like doing a little hip mobility. Like, but I don't think a full stretch routine like that is uh, effective for me. I think stretching afterwards or stretching consistently. Like, I stretch in the mornings um, for like 20 minutes, but right before a workout. I just don't think, I don't think it helped me at all. I felt weak. This is supposed to be my heavy leg day. And I'm just like, I got all depressed because I was like frustrated as shit. Like, why the fuck is my body not up to par right now? Like, I know I'm, I can do a lot more weight than this. And the only thing I can blame it or, you know, kind of see what has, was the cause of that is, you know, doing abs and then, and then stretching a full fucking stretch routine before working out, which I thought was going to be a good thing. Like, I thought I'd be like, damn, I'm ready to go. Like, I'm hyped up. Like, let's fucking get these squats. Like, nah, man. Like, for me at least, that shit did not work. I still had back pain. I felt weaker. My body just didn't like it, man. I, 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 uh, I kind of like to warm up as I'm doing calves. And I do, I like to do stretches as I'm doing calves, kind of get my mind in it. And I'm like, okay, my body's getting used to getting some weight on it. And then I go to the bar and I squat and then I start doing some stretches for my back and my hips. And I do those little kicks. You see Max, Ch Max Tuning do where you kick your leg up real high, it stretches your hamstring. And I kind of flip my leg up and do like a 90 degree hip uh, opener thing. And that's kind of what's been working for me. And I think I'm going to stick with that. Because this shit was just depressing as fuck. I did not feel strong. But it's a good thing. I, I'm i keeping an open mind. And I'm trying different things to see what's the most effective for my body. And what works for me. Like, it, what works for Kai Green, who's a fucking steroid-taking bodybuilder, may not work for everybody. You know? It works pretty good for him. I suggest that I, you know, stretching is great. Abs are great. Doing core is great. But if it doesn't work, what's the fucking point, you know? So, keep searching. I'm going to keep searching for a, an, a better warm-up mobility routine because I do want to prevent injury. But this was just not for me. I'm glad I tried it. I'm not going to do it again. Hope you guys have a good day. I need to fucking eat, man. Let's fucking get this shit, man.